Welcome back to Norfolk Perspective. I got to be honest with you. Normally, with seven venues and scope, we have major singers. We got maybe wrestling going on. We've got Broadway. We've got all kinds of great stuff. Hockey, the whole nine yards. Timber sports was a new one for me. <laughs> Absolutely. So we had to bring in the expert, Brad Sorgan. How you doing? Oh, pleasure, sir. You're the executive producer for Steel Timber Sports Series. This is huge. Oh yeah, we're looking forward to Norfolk. I mean, you talk about some of the best venues in the world. I mean, we've been in Hampton Roads with the Steel facility for seven uh, for uh, over 40 years now. Uh, it's a great opportunity for us to come and actually share the wealth with the Hampton Roads families that we've. You know, been part of for 40 years. Okay, now the city of Norfolk is a wonderful place to live. It's got great pines, it's got beautiful trees, but I don't see it as harvest time for timber. <laughs> Well, yeah, it's, you think about there's different uh, timber factories all over the country, and uh, the logging traditions are very widespread, but uh, the Steel Timber Sports Series is a national and international property. Uh, because of us being here local, we decided this is a good topic to bring some of the best athletes from around the country, guys who have timber in their blood, literally, uh, bring the best of the best, both college and pro, to Norfolk Scope Arena June 20th through 22nd. It's going to be awesome. Now, are we going to be looking for timber to come down the Elizabeth River, or how do you get it here? Oh, absolutely. We, uh, we got some guys that are uh, from New Hampshire that are actually, we call them the Grunit State Lumberjacks, and essentially we call them the Wood Monkeys lovingly. We like them a lot. Uh, the guys will actually go to Ohio, harvest the wood from our timber farm, and bring it into the Norfolk Scope Arena, specifically laved by tree, uh, to make a round block that can be chopped for the athletes and sawed by the athletes. Okay, now this is a competitive sport. Absolutely. So yeah, it's, it's a legit there are sport. standards, too, mm -hmm. from year to year. So how do you standardize the wood? Well, it, the wood is a very variable. I mean, guys will tell you this wood was soft, this wood was hard. We try to make it as equal as possible. We mentioned it earlier, 100 yards is 100 yards. So by harvesting the same wood in the same location, we can say the conditions are pretty accurate from year to year. And this is the 29th year of the series. Um, so but we try to make it as easy as possible. When a guy sets a world record, we know he did it. Okay, now Brad, with great glee last week, I cut down my dogwood tree in the backyard. <laughs> That was about that big, and it took me about two hours. Yeah. <laughs> so is this going to be a real long event? Uh, no, we got, got three full days of competition. Friday's okay. our knockout round on the 20th, so that's a little bit of a longer day. We're trying to winnow through all the college programs. Saturday, we got three hours from 5 to 8 p.m. That's just the national championship for the pros. Sunday, we've got the college championships, and then some fun. We're going to have a relay event. Nothing better than guys with chainsaws and axes running around on stage trying to get the fastest time. That's going to be cool. Absolutely. Now, what's really also neat about this is that uh, you can watch it live right here in Norfolk, mm -hmm. and there, somebody in Oregon or in Germany can watch it. Yeah, absolutely. We're going to do a live stream of the event that's going to go out on the web. Uh, then we're also filming it for both ABC and ESPN, so you're going to see those uh, events coming up uh, in prime time a little bit later in the year. Okay, now, uh, when I think of steel, I think of a great corporate uh, citizen, yes. great stuff that you guys do. I mean, you were just out on Park Place, in fact. Uh, with a, with a festival a couple of weeks ago. Mm -hmm. But I also think of you as kind of the world-class power tools. Where are, where's your tool of trade? <laughs> well, you we know, we're, we're known for being the industry leader, you know, the uh, number one selling brand of gasoline-powered handheld outboard power equipment in America. Mm -hmm. um, but that's only a small portion of the Timber Sports series. So we figured, you know, I could bring in some chainsaws for you, but there's nothing more impressive than actually seeing the five-pound razor that Whoa. you swing between your legs uh, as quickly as possible to get those chopping blocks I did done. not cut my uh, dogwood down with one of those. No, you should definitely not chop trees Holy down. Holy moly. So uh, a typical axeman for the Timber Sports series will have about 20 of these in his axe box. And the purpose of it is the different types of grind, a little bit thinner, a little bit fatter. If the wood's nice and moist, you want to have a nice fine blade, but if it's a little dry you want to have or, and firm, you want to have something that's more like a, like a wedge or a maul. And so these guys are swinging this anywhere from you know, 15 to 20 times to chop through around 13 inches of white pine. Uh, wow. Swinging it five pound razor right between their legs each time. Uh, again, $500 axe, you can't get this at your local hardware store. Now I also know that steel produces uh, refined, high, high polished stuff. It's kind of rough on the end. Oh yeah, certainly. It's not so, finished, is yeah, it? we we try to leave these when uh, when we buy these. We actually get a lot of these axes from Australia. It's one of the only places where you can get competition racing axes. They send it over in a pretty rough fashion, and the reason behind that is is uh, think about baseball or even um, golf. Mm -hmm. You want to customize your grip when you to feel comfortable when you're using this piece of equipment. Um, so there's going to be anywhere from uh, tape on this, a little bit of chalk. Some people may actually finish it themselves. It's more individual user choice. You have to feel comfortable with the the tool. Um, same way that you would piece of uh, equipment anywhere. Um, so it's a comfort zone. Brad, who's your audience on this, do you think? Uh, it's anybody. I mean, to be honest, we have reached out from the 18 to 25 extreme folks. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've always blended pretty well with them, but it, it's really a family event. I mean, I see guys out there that have been loggers for years who want to join us. we got kids out there. My son is a huge fan. He sees it on TV, and he always thinks that's me. I'm not the big burly lumberjack. Well, we're going to talk about that in a second. <laughs> 
when I heard that you were coming on board, I, you know, who's the big guy that's, uh, that the song is about? But anyway, oh yeah, <laughs> the you're not, you're not uh, Bunyan there. I, I mean, when I think of the timber guy, you ain't it. Oh no, we and we try to steer clear from that sometimes. I mean, I'm not a real lumberjack. I just get to play one on TV. So I produce, uh, you know, th this amazing event, the Still Timber Sports Series. It's it's ordinary people doing extraordinary things. We've got uh, lawyers who actually do this, physical therapists, guys who've got a history and tradition of logging in their blood, who just come out and do something incredible. It's the really is the original extreme sport. So it's going to be uh, June 20th through 23rd. Yeah, right there at Scope and Scope Plaza, right? Absolutely, right on the. Actually, it's going to be on the inside of Scope Arena, seating for 7,000. We certainly. Uh, I hope folks come out and join us. Tickets are uh, on Friday and Sunday, only $5, and on Saturday, $10 for the national championships. You can't so beat that. We're just trying to have a fun time and just say thank you to the Hampton Roads community. I was going to suggest we go out with you uh, swinging that between your legs, but you know what? <laughs> Maybe we won't do that. Oh, please, no. I, you know, you got to put change in your pocket if you hit yourself and <laughs> you walk the right direction. There we go. <laughs> well, thanks for everything that you're doing to bring the show right here to Norfolk, and we're looking forward to being here with you. Absolutely. Thanks a lot, Bob. When we come back, we're going to be looking for spies aboard the Wisconsin. I hear they, they do exist. Stay tuned.